Again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and I have been playing with shovels very successfully recently. I have a pan right there that looks like I could use a rag to wipe it out because the dust water, cleaning the dust out, left moisture. So, I'm going to fill my pan full of colors that I like and then scoop them up. That is a folk art neon purple. Excuse me. <laughs> Neon pink. Wow, I got purple in my mind. And it's matte. I'm going to try not to go too incredibly far with my colors because I can always add more. And that is my plan to add more colors. I want some black enamel acrylic in there. because I can have it. Now, my plan is to put sections, let's call it a shovel train, zigzagging sections. Heavy, interesting sections. Maybe even let some go, go down over the end. So I like those colors so far. I'm okay with that. I, gotta, I wish I hadn't left that. This is a bead tray from an experiment a long time ago. So maybe I'll just turn it around. And I never use enough of this magenta with iridescent pearl fine in it. I'm still going to keep using the same colors more or less. And throwing a little tiny bit of that black enamel which creates cells really nicely. I want some more turquoise. I see that I don't have enough in there. Now I'm not trying to layer anything particularly, but I am going to try and continue my zigzagging ways. And I am going to let the paint puddle as best I can. Because for me, that means that I can tip, and that is my plan, to tip. I kind of want some yellow in there. And I don't have any of this color-shifting purple flash, and I want some. It's a really fresh canvas. I just finished priming it not very long ago. Now I see what I want now is to move all of that so I can operate on this side. I want some gold and some blue and then I'll contemplate whether I want to dribble or not. Yeah, I like that. Just gonna add what I want where I want it, and it'll be kind of heavy, which means it'll lead other paint, which is okay with me. It might be exactly what I want, in fact. So instead of scraping up much of this in the dish anymore, now I'm suddenly pouring it into the shovel like I was. All right, I turned it the wrong way. And I am gonna take whatever's in my pan and put it into my shovel with a Princeton Art Tool Cattle Spatula, hoping that the orange will not become unmanageably brown. Please don't <laughs> turn into something I don't want. So who knows what this is going to look like when I tip it. And it's one of those moments where, hey, do I like that enough to not tip it? And no, I'm good.
But I might look at some more colors. Like that blue. And maybe some more turquoise. Now we're beginning to like it too much. Okay, well, somebody knew that was coming. Careful. <laughs> All right, so what am I going to do? Am I going to tip? I'm going to torch. I'm going to torch because I know there's some enamel in there, and what that means is I have a good chance of releasing some cells. So if I release the cells first, then I have an even better chance of keeping those cells when I tip, if I'm going to tip. And I really don't need to tip. <laughs> I am having a really hard time deciding. It's looking less like tipping every second. But I want some more gold. Where's the gold gone? Well, you can see how I like this. That's the 24 karat gold with a little bit of folk art color shifting orange in it. I still want the gold. There it is. So, super simple. <laughs> Do what you want. Dribble. Dribble and drizzle. Sounds like making cookies at Christmas. Coming right up. That was not necessary. See if I like it from both ways. You know what? I love this. <laughs> oh, I should know not to trust myself thinking that I'm gonna get busy. Tipping something that looks too cool. I'm learning to, to just like, why swipe if it looks so cool that you don't have to? And um, I'm gonna put some more turquoise in there because I see the turquoise up here and I like it and I want some down there. And I like that it's all mixing a little bit together in my shovel so it's not pure. Matter of fact, I'm going to take some more of this color out of my bead tray, which is an okay container, but you can make, you can make that kind of container out of anything, I find. I'm dripping on the floor again. I know I'm going to step in that in a second. Now a lot of times I'll do this and then spiral things out, but this is too cool to do that to, so I'm not going to. I know somebody's waiting for me to change my mind, but it's not going to happen this time. I love this! This is so cool! This was so much fun! Wow! That's just gorgeous! I'm like so happy with this! And I was ready to change my mind. And tip, so I'll just have to tip another time. Maybe a couple more dots. I got tiger stripe in here. It's pretty cool. I should tell you guys, I've got over 90,000 subscribers, and if you're new and subscribe, please be welcomed. Please, and thank you. Please like my videos. If you wouldn't mind, I would really appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up. It's really helpful. I'm not going to worry about any of this. I am probably going to zoom in and show you guys some details. It's super simple. I've got a little smear to cover. It should come off pretty easily. This was so fresh that I should be able to scrub off pretty much anything with a little spit or cover it. So thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for all the donations that have helped keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate it. God, that's beautiful. And... Um, I'm so distracted right now, I can't tell you. The community board on my YouTube channel will show you tomorrow's video. And um, there's a Teespring clothing boutique. There's a store on my YouTube channel. Um, on my Amazon link below the link tree underneath the video, you can find my books, because I can, and unlimited possibilities, and all kinds of other really cool stuff. And if you shop there, it helps me out, and I really need some help. Uh, thank you guys for all the donations that help me keep me painting all this time. And if you want to be a, con a studio contributor to help me continue making videos, then look for the PayPal or Patreon. PayPal, preferably, uh, icons on my YouTube channel, banner, 
bottom right hand side or under the link tree you'll find the links and anyone who is a contributor to the studio can choose who who's, who's the winner of next month's contest can choose one of the paintings that you can see sh shared I can't talk right now I'm so distracted you can see them shared in the exhibition video on the end screen of any video there should be a new one every month so what else can I tell you? Under the, under the link tree you can find Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Fans and Collectors, where the um, art edited artworks from YouTube are in the albums. You can find Pixels.com and Fine Art America. There's like 1,400 par products there and they can be almost anything. If you ever want a print of anything or anything printed on something, let me know and I'll add it there. Also you can find under the link tree Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter links. Under the video description, you can find my paint pouring recipe. Please feel free to ask me questions if you would like to. If you were, are interested in more videos, look for my playlists, all playlists, creative playlists. I have 1,600 videos divided onto 16 lists of 100 each, and everything is also divided into categories. So if you're looking for a topic, you can probably find it there too. What else do I have? I told you about Teespring. It's under the video also. You can see it there. My email address is below the link tree, and that is the perfect place to contact me should you have an interest in taking a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, or purchasing an artwork. And if you are purchasing an artwork, I ought to zoom in on that, because that is awesome. Check that out. You guys have been so patient with me. <laughs> I'm so flaky right now. Oh, what? That's not it. That is just gorgeous. I love this. Sorry, I'm impressed with myself right now. Can't help it. So take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm sure I forgot something, but um, you guys will figure it out when you watch another video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the wonderful com com comments and compliments. You keep my morale boosted every single day. You leave me a comment. So thank you so much. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye for now. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida ex at Expression to Start Studio saying, I'll see you anon. Priscilla out. Bye for now. I love you.